Thanks for joining us. This is Dan Holscher with Senior Mark, and today I want to discuss with you Medicare Supplement Insurance and how Medicare Supplement Insurance works with traditional Medicare Parts A and B. Now, if you haven't watched our recent tutorial on traditional Medicare Parts A and B and how they work, I definitely recommend that you do so prior to watching this tutorial uh, because we won't go into a lot of detail on what Medicare doesn't cover, but we will, we will mention it. Now, just a reminder that Medicare Supplement Insurance is not a Medicare Advantage plan. They are two separate things. Medicare Supplement Insurance only works with traditional Medicare because it was designed to fill those particular gaps in Medicare. If you remember, a Medicare Advantage plan is an alternative to traditional Medicare. So you can't even add a supplement to a Medicare Advantage plan because it won't work that way. So, with that said, when you go out and you start shopping for Medicare Supplement Insurance, you are going to notice that all supplement providers, no matter what the company name is, will have this same exact benefit grid. And you'll see here, they range, there are 10 total plans, actually 11 if you consider this high deductible form of F, but there's A, B, C, D, F, G, K, L, M, and N. Now, every company has the same grid what that means is they all have the same benefits now every company won't necessarily offer all the plans but let's say a company does offer plan G their plan G benefits will be identical to any other company's plan G benefits now that's vital because since the plans are standardized like that a plan G with one company might be ninety two dollars a month and with another company, it could be as high as $140 a month or more. So, you know, you end up paying more for the same exact plan. So that's important to note. So now, when you first look at this chart, most of this information doesn't make a lot of sense. What this is showing you is the different gaps in Medicare and whether the gap is covered or whether it is not covered by that particular plan. So with plan A, it'll cover this particular gap in Medicare, but none of the others. And we will discuss those gaps and show you which plans cover what. So looking at the first gap in Medicare, if you remember, for the first 60 days in a hospital, Medicare will pay everything except for a deductible of $1,156. That is called your Part A deductible. Now, if you remember, that deductible can repeat. It's not a calendar year deductible uh, like most people are used to. It, it could occur multiple times. It, it could actually, in a perfect storm, occur up to six times in one year. So you could have potentially that six times. Now, when we look at the Medicare supplement chart and we look at the section that covers Part A deductible, you will notice that Plan A and don't, con don't confuse plan, Medicare supplement plans A, B, C, and D with Medicare parts A, B, C, and D. They are two different things. So these are Medicare supplement plans. So if you look, plan A does not cover that part A deductible for you, so you would be responsible for it. Now if you look at all the other plans, the ones highlighted in yellow are the ones that cover that part A deductible at 100%. So they pay it for you. The plans that are in green, plans K, L, and M. Plan K and M, they pay 50% of that deductible if you ever have to pay it. So they will split, split it with you. They'll pay half and you'll pay the other half, which is $578. Plan L, on the other hand, it pays 75% of that deductible. You would be responsible for the other 25%. So that covers the Part A deductible. Now if we go on, oh, sorry about that, let's go back. Now if we go on to the 61st plus days, so 61st, if you remember, the 61st through 90th day, Medicare pays all but $289 per day. And the 91st day and after, Medicare pays all but $578 per day. These per day coinsurances are your responsibility if you don't have a supplement that pays it. These two coinsurance are as part of your basic benefits. It's the hospitalization part of the basic benefit. So if we look at the plans that cover that, 
you'll notice that all the plans either cover that as part of the basic benefits or at least the hospitalization part. So all plans will cover that hospital co-insurance that we just uh, went over. Now going on to the other part of Part A, which is skilled nursing facility coverage. If you'll remember, the first 20 days in a skilled nursing facility, Medicare pays everything. The 21st through the 100th days, there's a skilled nursing facility co-insurance that Medicare does not pay. That's your responsibility, and it's $144.50 per day. If you added up paying for those 80 days on your own, it would add up to just shy of $12,000. So that's called your skilled nursing, skilled nursing facility co-insurance. And if we go to that chart again and look at that section, you'll notice that plans A and B do not cover that for you. So you'd be responsible for that $144.50 per day. The plans in yellow are the ones that cover it at 100%, so you would not be responsible for it. And then there are two plans that share that coinsurance with you. Plan K splits that coinsurance with you 50-50. Plan L pays 75% of that amount, and you'd be responsible for the other 25%. Now, if we go on to Part B services, which is everything outside the hospital, if you remember with Part B, you pay the first $140 per year. That's called your Part B deductible. So going to the chart, if we look at Part B, deductible, there are only two plans that will pay that for you, and those are plans C and F. They pay that $140 for you. All the other plans do not pay that Part B, so you'd be responsible for the $140. Now, after you've paid your $140 Part B deductible, then Medicare pays 80% of the Medicare approved amounts. You're responsible for the other 20%. That's considered your Part B coinsurance. So when we look at the plans that cover that, all the ones in yellow, plans A, B, C, D, F, G, and M, you'll notice they include 100% Part B coinsurance coverage. So those, pl those plans will pay that extra 20% in full for you. There are three plans that do not. Plan K, it splits that 20% with you. The plan will pay 50% of that 20, so they'll pay 10% of the 20. You're responsible for the other 10%. Plan L, <clears throat> they'll pay 75% of that 20%. So then you'd be responsible for basically 5%. Now, N's a little different. It does cover the 20% that Medicare doesn't except they limit it to a $20 copayment for an office visit and $50 copay for the ER. So that's the most they would charge you past your $140 Part B deductible. So they cover everything except for those two copays. The rest would be paid in full. Now, there's another thing called excess charges. And just remember that in Ohio, Providers have to accept the Medicare approved amount, so that means a provider in Ohio cannot charge you excess. So Part B excess coverage is not necessarily needed inside of Ohio, but there are only six other states that are like Ohio. All the other states could charge you up to 15% more than the Medicare approved amount. That's called a Part B excess charge. So going back to our chart again, you'll notice there are only two plans that will pay those excess charges should you be in a state that can charge them. And that's plans F and G. All the other plans, they would pass that excess charge on to you and you would be responsible for it. There's one other benefit that supplements add is foreign travel emergency coverage. Medicare only covers you in the um, continental U.S. Outside of the U.S., you do not have Medicare coverage. So with certain plans that offer this foreign travel emergency coverage, you would be covered based on that benefit outside of the U.S. Now that benefit is not as comprehensive as Medicare, 
the way it works is there's a $250 deductible you have to meet first. Then the plan starts to pay at 80%. You pay the other 20%. And then the plan will cap out at maximum benefits of $50,000 for your lifetime. So the most it'll ever pay out is $50,000 for you. So those plans that are highlighted in yellow offer that foreign travel. The other plans, A, B, K, and L, do not. Now, one other thing, there, there is another plan that doesn't get a lot of attention sometimes, and it's the F-star, which is the high deductible F plan. And basically that plan, if you look down here, it's explained down here at the bottom of the benefit guide. It's a high deductible form of F. So you would have to pay $2,000 deductible first before the plan would pick up. And after you've met your $2,000 deductible, the plan will pay just like a regular F plan. So that is one additional plan. So in all, you do have 11 plans to choose from. So that concludes um, our discussion on Medicare Supplement Insurance. If you do have more questions or you'd like to schedule a free consultation, we'd be more than happy to help you. You can call us toll free at 877-492-8803 or you can email me directly at dan at seniormark.com. Once again, thanks for joining us and have a great day.